Hello everyone once again, I have another vlog for you today, uh, sure why not, we're on lockdown here, <laughs> it's grey sky, there's not much observing to be done. So I thought it came into my head last night, I was thinking of ideas, what could I talk about to tell you more about my passions and a bit more about myself maybe for some of you who don't really know me that well or know my background. So I thought I would talk a little bit about the kind of things I was into, what I was interested and passionate about before astronomy and storm chasing and photography took over my life. And one of those things a lot of people wouldn't know about would have been my passion for martial arts. I can't remember when I started, but my, my good friend, who used, we used to, uh, Niall McGurk, we used, we used to be neighbours, we lived in Mahara. Uh, Niall's now a very well known chiropractor and a great guy. He helps me out from time to time on my back. Um, but Niall was my neighbour, and me and him were friends for many years, really good close friends. And we often used to play together when we were younger, or we even were into guns and things like that. We used to get model guns and go out and sneak around the yard at night and do competitions against each other, hunting each other down in the dark and all that was great fun. And then later years, Niall went, joined a martial arts class. He went to Jiu Jitsu. And he came back after Jiu Jitsu one Friday night and came in and showed me a move he'd learned. And I was blown away. See, before this, I should mention, for years, one particular year around Christmas time, Channel 4 did a, a season all on Hong Kong action movies. And I accidentally watched them one Christmas. Uh, of course, I used to stay up late, as I always do, over Christmas holidays, and I was eating my chocolates and playing on my toys and things like that. But I remember this Channel 4 theme being on, and every night there was a Hong Kong action film played and I remember watching it sort of was semi-interesting because I thought it was so different looking. I wasn't really watching it, I was just watching it and doing something else and keeping an eye on it. And I remember seeing some unbelievable stuff, moves and fight scenes and choreography that really got my attention. I, I, I was thinking like, why? <laughs> this stuff is amazing, I want to see more of this. It turned out that this was the movies made by Jackie Chan, Sammo Hung and Yuen Bu. I'd accidentally and unknowingly seen a police story. Project A. And Armor of God. As well as some of the Chinese ghost stories like uh, Close Encounters of the Spooky Kind, Sam Hung. I watched these movies, I was amazed at these guys' technique. I actually, about a year later, one of my friends, Gary Beatty, actually had a, re a video VHS, VHS tape and he'd recorded Armour of God. And we got obsessed after that. We didn't do anything about martial arts, we used to watch the fight scenes over and over again and we go out, we start stretching exercises, we start doing stunts, <laughs> and we start fighting each other, doing like sparring. We didn't know what we were doing, but we did loads of it every day and night, and we found we really loved this stuff, and we had actually quite a good knack for doing it. So that, and eventually I started getting books out of the library on martial arts. I remember one on boxing, one on taekwondo, and I started doing stretching exercises every night, uh, one on karate, I'd practice kata, I'd practice punches, and start doing kicks in the room. I even had a strip of cell tape come down from the ceiling of my room and I attached three sheets of A4 paper. Uh, the, the first sheet to represent the head, the next sheet the stomach and the third a kneecap. And I practiced kicking these sheets of paper, just tapping them, boom, 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 you know, trying to improve my flexibility and speed of my kicks. So, so I started really getting into it and actually started getting pretty good at it. Um, but then when I met Niall that night, I realised this is the next level, I've got to start a martial arts class. So I, I, I met up with Niall, me and him started going to Jiu Jitsu every Friday night. And it turns out the word spread fast and quite a few people in our year of school went and started going to the same martial arts class as well. So there was about maybe seven or eight of us all in the same year of school doing, doing martial arts. So we joined um, Brazil, it's not, not, not Brazilian, it's World Jiu Jitsu Federation, that's what it was known as back then and Mark Felt and was run by Jim Canine and Frank, I forget Frank's surname so I apologise to Frank there but these two instructors were incredible I remember being so blown away by how someone could be so sharp and so technical 
The technical ability of the instructor, his precise movements, his speed, his flexibility, and the ability to know thousands of techniques and apply them for the precision and speed and flow, which almost looked, to me, it looked artistic. It was definitely an art form. It, was, it wasn't nothing to do with violence. This was about art. This was about um, beautiful flowing movements connected with history, connected with the samurai warriors. Oh, I, I fell in love with it. That consumed me for many years to come. So I stuck to jiu-jitsu, me and my mates, for years. Uh, I went right up to black belt training. Eventually I left it just before my black belt, because other things took over at the time. But those were wonderful years, absolutely wonderful years. I also, I went to jiu-jitsu on Friday night, regularly on Tuesday nights, and sometimes on a Saturday morning as well, in Cookstown. So we went two or three nights a week, and felt in Cookstown, the same instructor. Also during this period I started up Thai Guk in Makara. That was kind of a Korean based martial art. Um, it was very full on, full contact kind of stuff, a lot of hit and focus mitts, uh, sparring and strike shields, very, very, very physical, very hard on you, you know, um, your, your uh, respiratory system, it just it's, it, it was really, <laughs> really made you fit fast. So we had that going on Monday nights and then I also started Western boxing in Drupalstown under the instruction of Jim Noonan. So me and my friends were doing this, we were off in Mexico, we were training Jiu Jitsu two or three times a week. We went to Thai Guk one night a week and we went to boxing one night a week. And, then, and if we ever, for some reason or ever, one of those clubs were closed in one particular night for whatever reason, we would switch to go to the other one. So if Jiu Jitsu was closed Tuesday night, which rarely it was, we would go to boxing. And if boxing wasn't on, on, on Tuesday night, we would go to Jiu Jitsu. So we were very, very active. And in between that, we were training every single day. We were doing 10 mile, mile runs at home at night, even out in the frost, frosty nights in the winter time. We were wrapped up in two t-shirts and jumper, um, cap on, out running the country roads, doing 10 miles in the dark. And once we did the 10 miles, we went back to my garage, had a big 8 foot punch bag there, and we'd spend the rest of the night uh, punching and kicking in the bag. We'd focus mitts, and we'd practice our punching techniques in the focus mitts, and we'd do techniques against each other that we'd learned in class. Uh, to refine these, their syllabus work and I even had a, a set of nunchucks or nunchaka and I practiced the nunchucks in the garden car. <laughs> it, it became a big thing for years. Our life was consumed by martial arts and training um, but those were some of the finest days actually of my life to be honest with you. I never met such great people. A uh, wonderful instructor I taught you the, how to discipline yourself, how to be fit and healthy and flexible. Um, and I, I emphasise once again, this has nothing to do with violence, it's nothing to do with uh, wanting to beat people up, it's nothing to do with ego. This was completely technical ability, physical ability, and art form and technique and a love and passion for that art. Um, Jim was exceptional in what he does, he's still instructing by the way. Great guy, uh, amazing technique. And one of my favourite things was kicking techniques. I always loved kicks. Today, as we speak, the world's been taken over by uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and uh, MMA, mixed martial arts. That's, that's the thing now. It's kind of like what Bruce Lee started years ago. It's a mix of the best of the martial arts put into one art form. So you get rid of all the silly stuff, the stuff that doesn't work. If it doesn't work in the ring or it's not going to work in the street, so you get rid of all the silly techniques, the stuff that's un unbelievable get the best of each martial art, the best from wrestling, the best from boxing, the best from kickboxing or Thai boxing, the best from Jiu Jitsu and all our forms. You put them together and you use the techniques which work and you use them to fight each other in the ring and that's the most realistic type of combat there is out there now for, for self-defense. But before all that became the craze, for me, I always loved punching and kicking techniques and I always come back to those days of watching Jackie Chan. <laughs> and Sam of Hong and Yuen Bu on Hong Kong cinema. So I came really into kicks. I just be able to do the side splits on the ground perfectly, front and side splits, and even put the side splits on two chairs, and just to hold my leg in there doing the kicks, you know, maybe multiple kicks in there at the same time if I put your foot down. Um, hook kicks, reverse hook kicks, spinning, spinning back kicks, uh, we can really, really good at them, um, really fast kicking techniques. And 
and when I was in the boxing, they're pretty good at boxing as well. Um, very fast, hard puncher. I really enjoyed speed and power and the focus mitts. But but all great days. That was really it. And I, I tell you the truth. I, how, whenever I got into astronomy, it happened soon after my passion for the martial arts ended. It was not because my passion ended at all. I'm still interested in it and I still keep in touch with it. it it's just I got to a stage where my life in later years where I, I found whenever I was out in nightclubs and pubs and things, I thought there was attracting more in the way of violence and confrontation in my life. And I felt like every day and night I was getting bombarded by adrenaline and my thoughts were consumed about punching and kicking and attacking people and just defending myself in the street and worried about being attacked. I got negative. It was nothing to do with martial arts, it was to do, do the situation I was in at the time. So I decided to ease off that and I gradually got into my astronomy. And that's when I had the Comet Hill Bop sighting. And soon after I had the experience of seeing the stars in my backyard and I felt this peace come over me. And I realized I'd done my physical stuff. Now it's the time to transition into the mental side of things. I've now gone my for the future, my workouts were gonna be mind workouts. It's gonna be philosophical stuff, it's gonna be learning about the universe, learning about myself, working on myself and taking things to the next part, next stage of life. So that's how that, that all came about. So yeah. I went <laughs> it's amazing to think actually I went from this here to to looking through telescopes on comets and flying drones and uh, standing out in, uh, <laughs> standing knee deep in snow at three o'clock in the morning in the midnight uh, to get a, a star trail around an old abandoned building <laughs> and the photograph cool clouds driving over the country. Changed days, but all all it's all part of my story. So I just wanted to share that. I uh, hope you find it of interest. And if you do do martial arts at the minute. Or if you're going to start martial arts, I highly recommend uh, Jiu Jitsu as a good martial art, or Judo. Um, or if you want to go full on hard contact, self defense kind of thing, and why not try the MMA side of things. But yeah, thanks very much for watching, and I hope you found, it, found this interesting.